Hello everyone and welcome back to Revit Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's video is brought to you by Cat File Explorer, the easiest way to see, manage and clean up AutoCAD files in Revit. Get your free copy today by following the link in this video description. It's a nice and quick lesson today. We will see how to manage a combination of long sheet number and short sheet number reference on your section heads. If I now go to this sheet, for example, you can see there the number is very long. It has all the required fields and data that you need to identify this sheet. Usually this is required on a big project that will follow some certain standards. However, when I go to the section head now, if I now double click to open this, you can see this section there is the one here. However, even though this sheet here has a very long number, when you go to a floor plan and see the head, the section only references this very short and concise sheet number there, 1042, which is this number here at the end of the long string, 1042. So I will show you right now how to make this happen very quickly. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe now because we do tutorials like this every single week. Okay, let's begin. I have here a section head with a very, very long sheet reference. Because if I now double click here, that's a section that you will find on this sheet. And of course, because the sheet number is this long, it really doesn't look good when I go back to my floor plan and see this super long section head. Now, this is what we can do to reduce this long string of text into just the final section of the sheet number. For example, 1042, 1043 and so on. To start, let's edit this section head family now. If I now select this section line, go to edit type there. I can see the section tag is using this family here. To edit it, let's click on this little triple dot button at the end. And now, this tag family, I can see now, is using these two symbol families, one for the head and one for the tail. The head is what we're looking at right now. So let's click on this and just press Ctrl C to copy this whole name. Close out from here. I can go back to the project browser. Right click, select search and paste this text in. Do next to find the occurrence of this on the browser. And now I can see it's there. If I now close this, I can now right click on this family and choose edit. You can see here, that's what defining what we will show on your section head in the project. So the number we want to make shorter is this A101. When I click here now, I can go to edit label. And of course, it's showing the sheet number. This means I need to make the actual sheet number shorter. So how about we go back to the project and do that. So let's go to the sheet where we have this view. This one here, 1042. If we now right click and choose rename here. This long number, we need to reduce that to just 1042. So let me just copy this and paste it here. Just to keep it, I will need it later on. I can now reduce this number by deleting what I don't need and do OK. If we now look back at the floor plan, that's super nice and short. But the problem now is that the sheet number is not compliant. We need the long sheet number, but just the short text there on the section head. The key to fixing this for the sheet is this. We need to edit the title block. Let's select it here and do edit family. If I now go down to this section here, the sheet number, let's check what it is. Go back to the title block now. That number is here, 1042. We need this to be the long piece of text. Let's do that in the title block family. A certain thing has to happen here. If I now select this field there, go to edit label. You can see the only thing showing now is just the sheet number. But the good thing is, on the left hand side, we can actually use and create new parameters. If I now do add parameter, and in here, it only allows me to do shape parameter. So let's do select now. Now in this shape parameter file, I only have rooms data. This is where I want you to make sure you are using the right shape parameter file for your Revit project, because that will determine how many groups and parameters you will see here. 
let's double check that if I go to manage now select share parameters you need to make sure this is the right path to the share parameter file that you need if it's not the right one just select browse and then go to the right file and select it there in here I only have one parameter group and two parameters underneath this one is for rooms data though so let's do a new one go to groups choose new and call this new group sheets under sheets let's make one new parameter now how about number prefix and make it a text parameter click OK now this time I'm going to go back to editing this label and do add parameter now select I can then go to sheets and select number prefix choose OK it is now there on my list on the left let's click on this button to bring it to the right and now I want to move it up like that and then just do OK it's a bit big to see so how about we make the text smaller 3mm and you can see there there's a space between the two fields I actually want that to be a dash so let's go back to here and for the suffix of the number suffix we can put in here the dash and confirm this now the dash is there looking good now just wondering why there's a space there let's double check oh because space is here is one let's bring it down to zero and now that's neat I can now load this one back to my project now when you see this window choose to override just the version not the parameter values and now it's smaller I can now click on here and then click on the number certainly enough I can see now number prefix is there but somehow I cannot change its value the key is this you need to add this same shape parameter to the project at the moment it's only existing in the family that's not enough let's go to manage now and do project parameters choose add select shape parameter there to select and just like before we can go for sheets and select number prefix make sure to apply this new parameter to the sheets make it an instance parameter and do OK OK again now when I select this I can see it's now available for editing we can now put in here the rest of the text that I could see from before let's copy this and bring it here now here we go so now you have the full sheet number that is long but when you go to any of the floor plan again and this section is still there with the right short and nice sheet number underneath so we really have the best of both worlds in this case anyway because we know how this system works now there's nothing stopping us from making it a bit more efficient if I go back to the sheet now and back to the title plot family select this label again and edit it I can actually paste it here the value I copied from before and you can see there's a long piece of text there usually these letters and numbers they mean something if you're in the UK that will be following the British standards or the ISO standards if you are elsewhere in the world there must be some other standards governing what you should put in here and how many fields it should have so at this point we can actually create one shared parameter per field if I go now to new let's make a new parameter under sheets actually this is where you cannot make parameters you need to close this one out and go to manage choose shape parameters instead and here again you go to sheets choose the new parameter now call this one project that will be the project code for the model and the sheet next one I can go for originator also a text parameter there next one can be volume go for the text now next one will be level 
text parameter again and then next one we can do type and then the row code so these are typical fields you will see in some standards like the British standards or the ISO standards let's do OK now and go into the label this time we can start adding them into this list so I will remove number prefix that was just for the simple case we can do much better now let's go for add parameter choose sheets choose project bring project to here and I will now repeat these steps to add the rest of the parameters we created here we go now we can move the default sheet number parameter down here to the bottom and do OK actually let's change this to maybe 1000 that's a much better example value and of course the number of spaces between them we don't want any spaces so let's put that to zero for each line for the suffix of course we want the dash it's for all of them so let's do this as well and choose OK now that's a much better combination of text I can now go and load it into the project It's now had gone short again, but I can now click on this. And of course, you have to make sure the same parameters exist in the project. So let's go to manage again. And this time, under project parameter, we can start adding the parameters we created. Every time you do this, make sure you apply that to the sheets category. This may take a bit of time to do at the beginning, but the good thing is, you only have to do it once per project. Okay, so all of them have been added. I can choose OK now. And this time when I double click here, all of them are now editable. How about we choose to put in our values from before. So let's do ACC. I see there for originator ZZ05 drawing type will be DR for drawing and the row let's do A for now for architecture choose OK and there you have it again the long complete sheet number but this time organized into very logical fields the advantage of the system is this if I go back to now and right click on sheets choose browser organization i can create a new organization rule how about rv boost and now i can start grouping and shorting this list using the shape parameter we made so i can firstly go for project originator and then volume and then level and so on you can go for more but for now i think that's already enough choose ok now make that the current configuration and do ok again so now under hcc for the project i have aic for the originator and then i have zz for the volume 05 for the level and then the actual drawing number with the drawing name as well if you have a few hundred drawings, you will appreciate how easy we can group and organize them in here using the system. All this time, the sheet number is correct, as well as the section head appearance in your plan views or elevations and so on. It's very short and sweet, just like we want it to be. Okay, if you enjoyed this lesson and want more like this coming every single week, make sure to subscribe to this channel now. For now, feel free to download this test Revit file from the video description and I'll see you in the next video.